G'day Hexes, Havoc here. Now we're going to be looking at my uh, top 10 uncommons. Now I just want to say that with these uncommons, these are not necessarily the best of the best, but these are the ones I like the most. These are my top 10. Uh, we're also going to be looking at some honorable mentions as well. Honestly, there's a lot of really good uncommons, so uh, yeah, don't be surprised that some of them are in my honorable mentions that you might think belong in the top 10. Either way, let's get stuck into it. First up, we have Brani Net Ray. Now, this card I really, really like because it's a not only is it an evasive speed troop, uh, you know, two one flyer for, for two, really good. Uh, it starts to benefit you, you know, immediately. You can just ditch cards that you don't want, be it maybe uh, too many shards or whatever. Draw, you know, draw something else. Uh, or the obviously when it becomes fantastic is when your hand is empty because because the discard effect is triggered first, and then you draw a card. If your hand's empty, well, then you're just getting card advantage pure and simple and that's what makes this card very good so that's yeah one of the ones I really like and there is actually a really nice ruby sapphire archetype um, that you can build around in you know limited or whatever um, that this card fits into very nice so uh, yeah that's the first one Brandy Ray up next we've got protection racket now when I saw this card I uh, yeah <laughs> I mean it's insane as I wrote here it is insane uh, it really does everything uh, on offense on defense you can use this to give your all your troops invincible uh, at quick speed and buffing them and it also protects you from board wipes and oh man this this card is potentially too good <laughs> like that that's my first reaction to it it seems too good for X like that can save a lot of stuff like your four four good troops on the board you, you can save them all and uh, I mean yeah it's pretty mental and and the also the fact is you can target the troops right so even if you have six troops on the board and you've only got four resources you can still save your your best four or whatever so yeah it's it's very very flexible and very powerful so that's yeah had to include that one in my top 10 for sure very insane all right so next up we've got the shadow serpent represents a lot of value if your opponent has a lot of uh actions in their deck uh, and they're they're not running uh, you know void removal or minus defense removal type of stuff then this guy's just gonna keep getting rebirth again and again which uh, makes it pretty damn sweet uh, obviously it does you know can get easily blocked out by a 1-4 or something or you know something with 4 defense but uh, does provide you with obviously a lot of defense if you get that rebirth again and again so uh, yeah pretty damn sweet a lot of potential there so next up we've got this cow, which is bonkers. It's the Gallows Ash uh, can easily you know get out of control uh, very quickly just with the the fact that it summons Black Bow Bursters. Not even into your hand. If it was into your hand, you know that wouldn't be as strong. It'd still be good. But this, you know, every time you're removing a a troop from your crypt, be it from voiding like we have with the Vestiged here, or you know something like Call the Grave or putting a troop from your crypt into your hand, any way you remove them from your crypt. Is going, you know. So there's actually a really good. Uh, uh, there is the. There's a few cards that can remove everything from your crypt. So if you're like mill yourself, you know, in a construction environment, you mill yourself, uh, get a whole bunch of troops in there, get this guy out, and then just void your whole crypt. You're gonna get a lot of light bug bursters in play. There's a lot of lot of crazy stuff that can be done with this. Uh, it's it's very powerful. So yeah, pretty damn sweet card. Up next, we've got the fuel flinger, which I really like. Uh, obviously, it's you know there's a lot of cards. A lot of these cards uh, are generally uh, prismatic in in wanting to be in multiple colors. This one is obviously no exception with being wild ruby uh, to really get the value. Otherwise, you're just you know it's still a two cost three one, which you know plenty of people have probably ran uh, you know as filler cards in limited before. But uh, this one, obviously, if you're in the wild ruby, you're getting very very good value from it, uh, and it also honestly has potential for some constructed play. Uh, even, you know, in the likes of Immortal, getting free Scorches, you can do some pretty cool stuff with cheap actions. So, uh, anyway, very nice card. Uh, another one that also in the similar vein is the Venomous, uh, Verminous Piper. Um, yeah, just gives you, you know, all the good value again. So if you're in Blood Sapphire, you're going to get free free Chaos Tongues. I mean, you will have to play them. You'll have to pay two resources total. But gives you two unblockable threats that are obviously very good targets for buffs. So yeah, just another good quality, you know, value. Who doesn't like value, right? And there's another one that does the same thing this time for when you're in Blood Diamond. So he'll give you a 1-4, you know, good defender with some life gain on him. So he's a good target for buffs as well. 
Um, and yeah, it gives you a free cannibalize, so really a three for one uh, once you've cast everything there, so that's really good. Up next we've got the Shadow Rats, another Blood Diamond card. This one, uh, just yeah, really good value for a two cost card. Uh, you know, if left unchecked over the course of a game, if your opponent has, you know, even just a, a decent amount of actions, you can, can re represent some, some decent health swings uh, for, you know, gaining for yourself and because, you know, he deals the damage. Uh, so every time he deals the damage, it, also another, again, another good target for buffs. If you were to buff this, um, well, actually, no, it's still dealing one, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I was going to say um, you'll gain more life, but obviously it's just dealing one. Never mind. So it's still, still, yeah, still good, regardless of the buffs. But uh, yeah, Bruce is a really good value card there. I like it. Uh, up next, we have another one that uh, gives you, you know, uh, another, you know, if you're in uh, two colors. In this case, it's Ruby Diamond. You're gonna get some, some more value. In this case, it's Pseudo Removal with the Llama Fi. You can revert your, uh, revert and transform a target troop into a llama. So just really good value again. I mean, the troop itself. Not a very good attacker unless your opponent has beasts, um, but uh, you know, good defender can trade up nicely. Uh, if your board state's blank, you can get in some damage, obviously. Um, and yeah, just uh, just good value again. I, I like, as I said, I, I like having things with gives me two for ones or or more. Who doesn't, right? Um, so up next we have one of the enders. Now, this is the only ender I've included. Um, there's a, there's other good ones, but this, in my opinion, is the best one. Now it doesn't get out of control really. It's not you know like super good by itself. It's just a three cost two two. It's still fine. You could potentially get you know give evasion in other ways, but you know if you pair it with the Skywing there, fuse it with that, you'll get the Stormwing Terminus we see on the right, and that'll give you a very 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 nice three four flyer for five. That when it deals damage to a champion or a card. So that's that's the that's what you really want. And that's that's the yeah you know, so but otherwise you know without it it's not as good of course so you want to get that skywing apocalypse for every for every storm site apocalypse you get you want to get a skywing uh, ideally you know if you're drafting or what have you so uh yeah that's uh he made the list there we're going to look at some honorable mentions now as it, as i said at the start honestly you could uh you could include some some of the like if this hearts one survivor i was tempted to put in my top 10 uh, as with, you can, you can give him flight plus one damage as long as you're in two colors and you have a prismatic card under your control. That gem will be active, I believe. Uh, so that's a, that's a six four flyer. You know, it's pretty pretty good. So it's, you know, it's still, yeah. Anyway, it's pretty good. Uh, Scarab's pretty good too. You know, it's a three three by itself, uh, but also the ability to buff evasive threats or you know better other troops if you have them. So it's not bad, just not quite good enough for the top ten. Uh, he's also got an AA, which you can see here, the, the little dude on the top of the scarab there. Pretty cool. Uh, then we've got, let's see, what else we got here? We've got the Jolt Jabber and the Handmaiden. So these are both, you know, Ruby Wild and Blood Diamond. Uh, some very nice effects. You know, you've got a 3 2 Swift Striker and Steadfast with the ability to destroy a target opposing artifact or constant. Uh, just, you know, again, really good value. I was tempted to put it in the top 10, but eh, <laughs> whatever. Um, there's, well, there hasn't been a huge amount of... Then again, maybe I just haven't looked at all the artifacts and constants. But, uh, you know, you're not always going to get a target of that. So it's still, in a lot of cases, you might just have a 3-2 Swift Striking Steadfast, which is still good. Uh, as for the Handmaiden, it is pretty good value. Obviously, her stats by herself, you know, 2-1 for 4 is not great. It does have Rebirth, though. So really, it is... Maybe it should be in my top 10. It is pretty good value overall. Um, but potentially could just be ignored. Uh, for a bit um, yeah I mean it's it's obviously hard for it to get in so even if you they let it die to get a second phantom I mean that is still good value for four eh, it's good right it's decent it's something you'll probably want to pick up if you're in those colors anyway pretty good uh, so next we got shenanigator and refuel so these are you know pretty good uh, you know shenanigator yeah, I mean, it could easily have gone in the top 10 as well. Uh, it's not going to be too hard to get, you know, probably two triggers out of that at minimum, uh, pr provided it's not obviously dead. Um, refuel also, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with that. Uh, probably more so for constructed, though. Uh, and, you know, you know, in limited, you, know, you have to get two things in your trip to get the most value out of it. And, yeah, then, you know, you want to have ideally stuff with deploy or death cry effects uh, to, to really make it shine. 
Either way, there's another two there. Up next, we've got the Nut Snatch Raven and Yeti or not. So these are just, again, more good value in terms of the Raven here. If you're in wild, you're going to have a, a threat you can play later on. Six cost. So because it is six cost, though, uh, and the one one itself, you know, it's, yeah. I didn't think it was quite good enough to make the top ten there. But uh, still pretty good, damn good. Sadly, we don't really have much good ramp when it comes to this set so you know no no nothing there is a card similar to pomegranate but it's not ramp it's you know makes two two resources that you then have to play which is a bit flooby anyway uh then we have yeti or not which is and it's pretty good um you know in the right deck you know you're, you the, the flexibility obviously is nice you know if you need just a two speed extra troops on the board and with speed to finish off your opponent with a full swing or something uh, you can do that. Obviously, you can get one of them and buff your whole team if that's going to do it for you. Um, or you can just buff your whole team. So it's flexible, and that's what, you know, again, it's another card that could make the top 10, but I didn't feel it was quite enough. But, I mean, maybe. <laughs> there's, there's definitely going to be builds you could do where this is a card you're going to love having, you know, especially if you've got something that can generate uh, a lot of, like, phantoms and stuff like that. Maybe you're in a tricolor deck. Uh, anyway pretty good uh, I think that's nope we're not done yet so there's now the another two so these are fitting into the ruby sapphire archetype with all the discard shenanigans uh, so main well mainly the pain stoke here uh, so yeah when you discard she deals one damage to either a champion or troops that's really nice especially with the briny ray we saw at the start and you got whip crack really nice uh, and then you can draw a card and discard a card so that's pretty good as well uh, and it also does it to you know to each opposing champion and troops so you'll yeah, it's pretty good. It uh, gives you some options there. Um, and uh, oh, still got some more. So again, I did say there was a lot of good uncommons, and it was, it's it's pretty tough to try and <laughs> to, to break it down to just ten. So I'll just put a bunch in the honorable mentions, is what I figured. So we got some more. Uh, we got Dream Smoke Duplicity, which I do like. If it if it like remove the thresholds of the card you're copying, that would be nice because then you could use it on opposing troops. Uh, which is what you're probably going to do most of the time. Um, uh, to then, and then you know, then you wouldn't have to be in those colors to then play that card. So it'd be, it'd be nice. It'd be making it a bit more flexible. Uh, otherwise, you can use it to save your best troop from removal, and then you get a copy of it. So then you got two. So it's still good for that. It's still good for saving your troops and uh, getting another one. So pretty good. Uh, Sports skin, just a really good trick. You know, adding rebirth and lethal. Uh, lots of good troops you can put that on. Uh, especially the rebirth, uh, yeah, pretty nice, pretty damn nice. So I think I think that's it now. Yep, that is pretty much it for the uncommons there. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, I'll have uh, another video up soon with uh, top ten commons. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching again. Take care and have a great day.